To the right of me, I have ASUS's brand new XG35VQ monitor. Now this is a 35 inch 21 by nine 1440p display. And you're probably wondering what makes this 21 by nine monitor different to all the other ultra wide monitors out there. Well, this has one big benefit and it's the first time I've tried it personally. ASUS are calling it ELMB, extreme low motion blur, AKA ultra low motion blur, AKA strobing, which essentially matches a flick of light to the monitor's refresh rate. In this case, since this monitor has 100 Hertz, it will then flick a light 100 times a second. So what you get is less ghosting and easier tracking. Since this was the first time I've tried it, I was blown away by, of course, getting that color redemption out of a VA panel as opposed to a TN panel, but still not missing out on those good response times. Since it does flick one image a second, it's not as subject to noticing ghosting as opposed to a TN panel, which is really fast with its response times, so it doesn't really need strobing at all. This thing, however, when you put on strobing, you can still notice a little bit of ghosting, but it does make tracking so easy. I was surprised on the UFO test, my eyes were just moving with the UFO and I could notice how snappy it was. And in Dota 2, when I was name tracking, it was so easy. So if you're into fast motion objects and you want those gorgeous colors, that gorgeous contrast ratio of a VA panel, but you still want that snappy experience, then ELMB, as Zeus is calling it, is going to give you that. Have you tried ELMB, AKA strobing? This is my first time trying it and I absolutely love it. I'm looking forward to seeing it uh, in a lot more VA and IPS panels. I think that's where it makes the biggest difference. And also big thanks to Azus for sending this out for review. It's gonna be my new benchmark monitor and also free time gaming monitor as well. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.